If you were at the Maine Red Claws game against Erie on Sunday, you were in good company. That's because Boston Celtics coach Doc Rivers was there too. He was there to watch his son, Red Claws guard, Jeremiah. Well, I was hoping that this was the team he'd end up with, and, and it happened. Uh, you know, jump in your car an hour and a half drive, you're down here, hour 45 minutes, and so it's just perfect for me. So while it was perfect for Doc, <laughs> how perfect was it for Jeremiah to have one of the most noted coaches in basketball watching his game? Well, Jeremiah Rivers is with us here on 207. Thanks for coming in. It's nice to I have you I appreciate y'all really having nice me. To Thank meet you. you. So what's it like having Dad in the stands watching you? Uh, it's a blessing, honestly. It's, uh, it's been over a year since he's seen me play, and last time was in uh, Belgrade, Serbia. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, yeah, complete foreign, third world country, uh, it was, and it was great for him to come up. But uh, honestly, it's awesome. No wonder he wanted you to be on this team. No doubt. Of all no teams. No doubt about it's it. It's a lot closer than Serbia. <laughs> Most definitely. Most definitely. So you're, you're recuperating from an ankle injury. How's it going? Yes, ma'am. Uh, going, going much better. I uh, had ankle surgery last year. I rushed it a little bit to get back for, for summer league because the year before it was uh, a lockout, the NBA lockout. So that's why I went overseas. And now, you know, I'm about 80% uh, building, playing. playing, strengthening, rehab every single day. So it's just great to be back on the court. And you've been in, um, in physical rehabilitation, you were saying every day every you have to work day. at it. Yes. But um, you haven't just been sitting back eating bonbons, as they say. No, ma'am. You have a sideline career. Yes, ma'am. I'm a music, uh, professional music producer, and uh, I've been rolling with it the past couple of years and got serious with it probably the past six months. Albums out? Have you? Uh, no, um, coming out in the next six weeks. Uh, first performance is actually at a music festival in Austin, Texas, next Friday at South by Southwest, which my crew called 24K uh, will be performing at. What type of music? Uh, we're hip hop, hip hop music. That's musical, fantastic. very uh, intelligent hip hop music. And you made it to South by Southwest. Good for yes, you. Yes, Thank you. Do you write as well as the producing and other yes, things? Yes, sir. I, produ I produce. I write. Uh, create. Kind of come up with the sound and the idea. And, uh, and then just let it happen from there. So does that speak to, you know, a lot of people would assume that growing up there was a lot of pressure on you to become a basketball star. Mm -hmm. Your brother plays, right? Your brother Austin yeah. plays. Mm -hmm. Obviously your father is very famous. Right, right. If you, if you <clears throat> had wanted to play baseball or didn't want to play basketball at all and just wanted to pursue music, would there have been as much support? Complete support, 100%. Um, honestly, like, before I even moved to Florida, we lived in San Antonio, Texas, and I was a football and tennis. That's all I played. Uh, and then basketball just kind of fell in my hands when I moved to, to Florida at the age of 12. I just kind of fell in love with it. I played for an AAU team and fell in love with my, my teammates and my coach, and it just kind of developed into me becoming a basketball player. But initially, I was all about tennis and all about football. Do you still play tennis? Uh, a little bit. Me and my mom play on um, vacations wow. and whatnot, yeah. So right now, basketball is number one. Number one. Where do you hope to be in, say, a year or two? Hopefully, uh, I get caught up to the NBA. That's the ultimate goal. Um, I guess worst case or the back plan would be, be able to go overseas and play for, for one of the premier teams over there. And then if music is number two, and is that an accurate uh, assessment? Yes, sir. Yes, All sir. Right. If music is number two, where do you hope to be with music whenever the basketball career is finished? Uh, on YouTube, MTV, <laughs> BET, uh, Grammys. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah Rivers <laughs> runs the universe, <laughs> at least the musical universe. Try. Very try. quickly, what if you end up playing for the Celtics under your dad? Would that be really weird? That would be a story in itself right there. <laughs> <laughs> that would be crazy. You'll work it out. Right? We'll work it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> All right. Uh, great to have you Good here, luck. Uh, thank, thank you, you so appreciate much. Glad so you're feeling much. better. We really yeah. appreciate it. The Red Claws are going to be playing their next home game Friday against Canton. Tickets are still available. More information on the team on the 207 page for WCSH6.com. And we'll be back in a moment.